Ever since I was a teenager, I had always heard stories of this building in Houston that was so tall that it was twice the height of any of the buildings around it, and that at night there was this beacon, and in large swaths of the city you could see this beacon from this 900 foot tall skyscraper. And I'll never forget the first time I finally saw it in real life. I was at Reliance Stadium going to a Rolling Stones concert. And in Reliance Stadium, on either side, they have ramps where you walk up and down to go to the different levels of the stadium. And then I saw a little blip in the sky, and I knew that that was the Williams Tower. So in this blog, I'm going to tell you about the Williams Tower. Williams Tower was designed by Philip Johnson, who is probably considered the second greatest architect who ever lived so far, with Frank Lloyd Wright being the first. Philip Johnson did a lot of buildings in Houston, but that's for another video. Williams Tower is not far from the Galleria. So Williams Tower in many ways landmarks the Galleria. From the Galleria, if you look out through the glass ceiling, you look up, you'll see the Williams Tower. And the Williams Tower, not only is there a location in the beacon at night, but there is the design. It is very difficult to combine postmodern architecture with Art Deco architecture. Very few architects have been able to do it. And with the Williams Tower, Philip Johnson was able to do just that. The building is so tall that there is no other building in the Galleria area in Updown Houston, which is more than half the height of the building. On top of that, one of the most difficult, one of the great difficulties difficulties for architects designing skyscrapers is the ventilation system because somewhere in the skyscraper you have to put the ventilation system and in most cases it's always the ceiling but it can't always be the ceiling and it has to be outdoors it can't be indoors and so in order to make it so we didn't have to put a ventilation system on the ceiling Philip Johnson designed the Williams water wall a monument of which there is a waterfall going around the entire sides of it. This water fountain is the ventilation system for the building. A great new innovative idea that made two landmarks at once, the Williams Tower and also the Williams Water Wall and also a park where people can hang out in the presence of the Williams Tower and of the Williams Water Wall. At nighttime, the Williams Tower has a beacon which can be seen from far distances of the city and landmarks Uptown Houston and the location of Uptown Houston, the location of Williams Tower. It is a big part of the culture and the urban fabric of Houston that the Williams Tower exists. I encourage you, if you're ever visiting the Houston area, go see the Williams Tower, go see the Williams Water Wall, and try to get a chance to see the Williams Tower at night. That's it for this episode of Houston Politics. Please subscribe. We make videos like this all the time. I'll see you next time.